Hello and welcome to Bothy Threads, the home of happy stitching. In this first embroidery tutorial, we're going to look at a few beginner basics. We'll start with backstitch and French knots and then move on to straight, stem and split stitch. First, let's look at straight stitch, which is the easiest of all embroidery stitches and can be worked at any angle and any length. Simply bring the needle and thread up at one point and down at another, in the direction and size required. Here we are working straight stitch for the butterfly's antennae in our look up design. As you can see, you simply bring the needle up where the antenna meets the body and back down where the antenna ends to make one long stitch. Then repeat for the other side. To finish our butterfly's antennae, we need to add a French knot to the end of each one, as already shown on the left antenna. Bring the thread through to the front. Wind the thread a number of times around the needle. The more you wind, the bigger your French knot will be. Hold the thread taut with your other hand about an inch away from the fabric. Then push the needle about halfway back through the fabric at a point very close to where you came up. Keeping the needle head vertical and the thread taut, gently ease the rest of the needle and thread through to the back, leaving your French knot on the front. And there we have it, our finished butterfly antennae. We're now going to look at back stitch. You first make a stitch like one to two on the diagram. Then come back up to the front at three, so that the distance between the points is the same. Go back down at four, which should be right next to one, or even the same hole. Continue like this, so that each stitch is worked backwards when compared to the forward direction of the line, hence its name. So, as you can see on look up, we are using backstitch to outline the beetle. We have used a contrasting thread to make it show up clearly. Having made that first stitch, we are now working back on ourselves to go around the beetle. And there we have the outlined beetle. You can see we have added the legs in too. Let's turn to split stitch on this pheasant design, for which we're going to use a variegated thread. The leaves on this design are worked in a variegated blue and green thread, but here we're using a pink and purple one to show the split stitch clearly. Split stitch is like a back stitch, except the stitch you have just made is split by the next one. Use two strands to work split stitch. You split the first stitch by making four very close to one, as shown on this diagram. This gives the appearance of a narrow chain stitch. Don't pull too tightly or you will lose the appearance of this chain. It is also easier to split the stitch if you make each stitch a few millimetres long. About five millimetres should do the trick. If you find your thread is twisting as you work your stitches, it is worth dropping your needle to let the thread unravel. This will make your stitches lie evenly. So there we have the finished leaf. As the leaf is wider in the middle, you will need to work part rows to fill in the gaps. And lastly, let's try stem stitch around the moon in Look Up. This stitch is used to create a textured line. Bring the needle and thread through to the front at one and down at two, but don't pull too tightly. As you can see, we have left a small loop of thread on the front of the fabric. Then bring the needle and thread up halfway along this stitch at three and gently pull to get your first stitch lying evenly. Take the needle and thread back down at four, again leaving a loose stitch and repeat by bringing the needle and thread back up at five, which is just next to two. Top tip, always bring your needle up on the same side of the line that you are stitching. And there we have the finished stem stitch on the moon. If you have any questions, please get in touch. You can give us a ring or send us an email. 
We also have a very friendly Facebook group where you can share your stitching stories.